Hello guys, in this video I am going to teach you how to play Off My Face by Justin Bieber and I am going to break down my arrangement of this song. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hello, um, I hope you are doing good. In this video I am going to teach you how to play Ghost by Justin Bieber. Um, it's a video that I have posted three years ago I'm gonna show you my arrangement of the song first of all you gotta know the song has been played in the key of E major and the relative major of it C sharp minor so we're playing in E major And the chord progression in the introduction or the intro of the song is the same until the end. We're gonna have a little bridge. I'm gonna show you the chord progression, then the bridge, then we're gonna get into it. It starts with the E major. means one major the third major the sixth minor the fifth major so this is the chord progression and for the bridge or the turnaround, it goes like this. Um, I'm gonna go like start from there. This is E major, right? Then you have the seventh, which is D sharp, C sharp minor. G sharp minor, A, B, E. Then it's the same thing as the chorus. The chorus goes the same way. It's na 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 na. That's what I'm literally explaining. That's descending motion. It was like. No. And then you have that little um bridge that was And then the rest you know the song so but instead of playing the chord i'm gonna play the intervals which is gonna go like this starting from the sixth seventh first third fourth first That little bridge goes like this. That little bridge starts from the sixth. Six, seventh, first, third, fourth, first. 
first, sixth, fifth. But instead of playing this these chords, I chose to play the intervals to make it easier. Remember, this is a finger start tutorial, so a lot of things are going on. You have the chord progression, the melody, the percussion, it's a lot of things. So now let's jump right into the part where the melody comes. For the introduction of the song, it starts like this. So how does this part go? So we're gonna come in this fret, which I believe is the ninth. 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 And then instead of playing the whole chord of E major like this, we're only gonna keep these ones from the fourth string to the first. So we're gonna use a technique. I'm gonna show you quickly, but you can go and learn on YouTube in detail. It means the second string and the sixth at the same time the third, the fourth, sorry, the third, and the second. Again, second and sixth, fifth, third, second, which gives me this. So now you're gonna play it as a, a percussion instrument, which means third, fourth, sixth, third, sixth, second, sixth. The reason why I'm taking a lot of time on this part because it's a little bit tricky. Uh, for those who know about Tommy Manuel, this is nothing special. But um, for the people who don't know him, this technique um, has been improved by him. After you've mastered that technique, then you can apply it on this first chord of this section. Hammer on. Seven, but you're gonna hammer on in this fret. This fret. So for the first one. And one more thing, I'm playing the open E string low. This is G major. Sharp. G sharp major.
here you need a little bit of flexibility. So then you're gonna play the same thing over for the intro. So now for the main for the for the first verse, I'm going to start from E. But instead of playing E fully, I'm just gonna choose two strings, the fourth and the third. And I'm gonna use mostly two strings to mimic the melody. I'm doing I'm only using this string, right? The string of and the string of G. Then I come to G sharp major. And then and again this is instead of playing B like this, I'm going to extend it like this. Gives me this. string first fret second fret first fret fourth string fourth stretch so then you're gonna repeat the same thing again for the second time then here is the second part of the verse before the chorus. Second string, second fret to the third. C sharp minor, hammer on. interesting part I'm starting here which this is the E major chord but I just simplified it instead of pressing like this just used from the third to the first so I I, I do a a pull off from here so now I'm gonna do I'm gonna strum the third and the second 
That's the descending move I told you at the beginning of the video. Um, remember, I'm using triads. So I'm going to repeat it again. part of the chorus before the bridge and then we close so here is the second part of the chorus before the bridge I'm playing intervals using the fourth string and the second Slide seven, six, third minor, fourth intervals again. Fifth. So in the original video, I didn't do it this way, but this is much easier and more beautiful. That's why I'm adding it. In the original video, I just I just played the chord right and i used a different technique i did this on the descending motion before the bridge you see? so now i'm just keeping it easy but you're gonna choose whatever you want to do so you're gonna be doing this and all I'm doing, I'm just playing chords. It's just a technique that makes it look a little bit more complex. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep things very easy. Second string. And then the turnaround or the small bridge to close the song. Remember? Slide. First, me, E, and then C sharp. Minor, hammer on, B, same thing again, sorry, so this is the end of the song. If you have any questions please let me know in the comment section and if there is anything that's not clear please just let me know in the comment section i'm going to respond to you as soon as i can